Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Justin here, and today we are going over the free code camp algorithms. The one we are looking at today is called merge sort. This is the last sorting method of the five, the short five series part uh, sorting methods in within free code camp. By the way, this is under the coding interview prep, uh, and it's a, it has a section called algorithms. It's under those two sections. And we are looking at the very final algorithm of this one called implement merge sort. By the way, guys, if it's, if it's your first time here in my channel, I release these type of algorithm videos on almost a daily basis. I also release React tutorial videos, JavaScript tutorial videos, anything related to coding, you will find it here. So guys, if you like this type of content, please click like and subscribe below. That will really help a lot. And you'll get more content like this on a consistent basis. Anyways, on with merge sort. So this is quite a read. Let me read this for us real quick. Another common intermediate sorting algorithm is merge sort. Like quick sort, merge sort also uses a divide and conquer recursive methodology to sort an array. Hint, 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 we're gonna use a recursive function. So guys, before you try this, please make sure you are familiar with what uh, how to create a recursive function. Anyways, continuing on with the directions, it takes advantage of the fact that it is a relatively easy to sort two arrays as long as each is sorted in the first place. But we'll start with only one array as input. So how do we get to two sorted arrays from that? Well, we can recursively divide the original input into two until we reach the base case of an array with only one item. And the single item array is naturally sorted so that we can start combining. This combination will unwind the recursive call that split the original array, eventually producing a final sorted array of all the elements. The steps of merge sort then are number one, recursively split the input array in half until a subarray with only one element is produced. Number two, merge each sorted subarray together to produce the final sorted array. Merge sort is an efficient sorting method with time complexity of O to the n log n. That's slightly smaller than n squared, by the way. Uh, this algorithm is popular because it is performant and relatively easy to implement. Uh, not really, it's kind of fairly difficult to implement, but continuing on. As an aside, this will be the last sorting algorithm we cover here. However, later in the section on tree data structures, we will describe heap sort, another efficient sorting method that requires a binary heap in its implementation. Okay, guys, so first of all, I'm gonna bring this code, starting code to my editor. Now, if you haven't tried this out, please try it on your own. Uh, but just in case you haven't fully understood what's going on yet, this is what's happening. Uh, this is too crazy of an array. Let's just pretend that our array is not this crazy long thing, but we have one, four, two, eight, three, four, five. How about that? What we do is we start splitting this array in half. Maybe we could split this one, four, two as one array. And then we also have eight and 345 as another array. Now we keep on splitting this one, four, two becomes one, four, two is by itself and eight is by itself and 345 is by itself. And finally we have Maybe I just could have done this in one step, but whatever. We have something like that going on, okay? So we have split everything into a single array, and like they say, a single element array is naturally sorted, right? Because, you know, it, it's sorted. Um, now what we do is we compare the two uh, adjacent arrays like so, and then we sort them. So one and four, that's already sorted. So let's just put it back the way that it was. Uh, two and eight is naturally sorted. And we'll just leave 345 like so. Now we sort these two sorted arrays. So they are saying that's relatively easy to do. Uh, some people may back to differ. However, sorting these two will give you one, two, four, eight. And then we have 345. And then finally we sort these to four, uh, two sorted arrays, and we are left with a final sorted array like so. So this is what you have to implement. This is not easy, it will require using a recursive function. Now here's a hint. I recommend you guys make a helper function 
that will take two sorted arrays, that's a key, two sorted arrays as a parameter and will sort them in place. And for example, this will be our first parameter. This will be two and eight will be our second parameter. Given those two sorted arrays, again, key, sorted arrays, try to make a combined array, a union of those two sorted arrays, which itself is sorted. So that will be our helper function. And let me just set this up for you guys right here. So by the way, I like using ES6 arrow notation. So we're gonna be using that. So let's first convert this merge sort into an arrow notation. This merge sort function will be our recursive function. We don't need this parentheses here. We're gonna do something like that. Change the code below this right now. I'm just gonna erase it. So this will be our recursive function that pretty much divides the array into two, uh, uh, two arrays like so. It will also use this helper function that takes in two sorted arrays, which I will just call merge. And again, this takes a left array and a right array. And the key is again, these are sorted, right? And it will output an array. So guys, here is the setup. Please pause the video. Try to solve this on your own. Try your best. If not, come back to this video and I will show you guys how I solve it. Okay, so let's first start off with the merge sort, okay? So what we have to do is whenever we make a recursive function, we need an edge case, right? So our edge case here is gonna be when our parameter array has a length less than or equal to one. So we will say if array that length is less than or equal to one, we are just going to return the array. That's gonna be our edge case. Otherwise, we want to split this into two, right? So one thing we could do is let's get our middle index. We could say const middle index. And this is pretty simple. All we got to do is just math.floor array.length divided by two. Uh, let me show you guys what that would do here. Uh, if we had an even array like this, the length is four, four divided by two is two, two floor, Floor two is still two, so zero, one, two. This will be our middle index right here, the three. Uh, if we had an odd element, odd length array like so, three divided by two is 1.5, floor that is one, so our middle number is this one. So if it's even, it's gonna be one to the right of the middle. If it's odd, it's gonna be dab in the middle, okay? Either way, that will divide our two arrays in half. And then our left array, is going to be from the get our original array. We're gonna use the slice method of an array. Uh, so this will make a copy of our array uh, and we could pass in the start parameter, what index to start on, uh, and also what index to end on, but not include. So what we want for our left array, start from the zero index. We want to get everything until the middle index, but not including the middle index. So that's what this does. And then naturally our right array will be array.slice starting from the middle index because that's the index that we excluded from the left array and we go to the end. So we can either write like array.length minus one here uh, to, or uh, array.length to tell it to go to the end or we could just leave out the second parameter and that will naturally just give us every element until the very end starting from the middle index. So these are our two arrays. Now with these two arrays, what do we want to do? Let's erase this return array stuff. What I am going to do is I'm gonna call merge, which is this helper function that we haven't set up yet, which assumes that we get the two uh, sorted arrays. Remember, let me write it here. Left R and right R are sorted. Now, we're gonna call merge, and uh, we gotta put in two arrays here, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna say, we're gonna recursively call merge sort on left array, and then call merge sort on right array. So what is going on here? Uh, what is going on is we're calling this again with a smaller array with half of it, right, for the left array, and that in turn, calls uh, a mercer again, which is half. Again, that gets the half, gets the half, until we have one element. If we have one element, we'll return. 
And we have two one elements at the very end, and we are calling the merge function on those two single elements. That's relatively easy to sort. And as we constantly go up, we start sorting to uh, more than one length, we start sorting those in place. And remember, those two arrays that this function gets are sorted. So that's how this uh, merge sort kind of works. Now we just gotta get this merge helper function down. So again, remember, I'm gonna say this one more time, left array and right array are sorted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep uh, declaring output array here that's gonna start out as empty. And depending on which, uh, whether the left element or the uh, the element in the left array or the element in the right array is smaller, we're gonna start popping them into our output until it's filled up. So well, the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna declare uh, two variables called maybe left index, which will start at zero and right index. And as we start popping in elements from the left array or the right array to our output, we are start, we're gonna start incrementing either our left index if you have put a left element or a right index increment our right index if we have put an element within from the right array. Now, we are going to have a while loop. Now, the condition of this while loop may be a bit confusing, but we're gonna say, continue running on, until the left index is, let's see, while it's less than left array, left array that length, because if you go over, there's no more elements to compare, right? Or right index is less than right array dot length. We don't know which one is gonna surpass, go to the end of the list. We don't know which one. It may be that the left array, for example, has maybe one and four, and the right array has eight and 16. In that case, we're gonna fill a uh, start popping elements from the left array, all of it, and pop no elements from the right array. That could very well happen. Or it could be flipped, where we put in all the elements from the right array first. So we don't know. So we gotta have this or condition. As long as uh, there are still elements to be put into our output from either or of the, uh, of the arrays, we are gonna go inside this while loop. So we will say if, let me extract out the elements first actually. All right, const left L is going to be left array at the left index. And const right L is going to be the right array at right index. And now we could do a simple comparison. If left L is less than right L, then I'll put push left L. And also we're going to increment the left index like so. Else, we can assume that the right element is greater, no, left element is greater or equal to right element. Then we could say output push right L and right index plus plus. So we have gone until one of our array has been used. All of its elements have been used. That's what this while loop does. Then we just have to return the output, but however, Keep in mind that within one of our uh, arrays, we didn't use at least one element. Uh, in the example that I showed you, like the three, six, and the eight, 12, I forgot what the numbers were. Uh, it was that we only use elements in the left array and use none of the elements on the right array. Cause this while loop ended before we had a chance to uh, put stuff from the right array. So how do we add in the uh, values that we didn't add? We don't know whether it's in the left array or in the right array. All we know is we used all the elements from one of the arrays, but not the other. So the way that we could just do this is this. We could return the output. I'm gonna spread the output into another array. Uh, what the spread operator, this three period dots, what this does is it just separates our array to comma separated values which in turn, we're gonna create a new array. We're gonna do that. And then we're just gonna spread the left array, but calling slice on it. We're gonna make a shallow copy of it, starting from the left index go and go to the end. Now, if we have already used up all the left uh, uh, array, meaning the left index went to the very end, then this will just give us nothing, which is fine. Otherwise, 
If it was a case that a right array was not done, then we're gonna call slice and spread the right index of that. So either this will give us some elements or this will give us some other elements, but not both. And in this way, because we know the output is sorted and the one that's remaining either here or the right away is greater than every element in the output and that itself is also sorted, this, the result of this will give us a sorted array. Hopefully that made sense. Okay, so by the way, if it didn't, just try testing this out with a couple of variables. Maybe put like, let, let's test it out for us right now, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna ignore this merge sort stuff for now by commenting that out. Let's try doing this. Uh, console log merge of the two arrays, three, six. Remember, these have to be sorted and then uh, eight. How about we'll just do like two, four for now. Let's see if they source that. I run the code and I am getting an error because I coded this wrong and I am terribly sorry, but we needed an and condition here. It has to be left index is less than the left array that length and is less than the right uh, 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 right array that late. Sorry, I just had a brain fart right there. Because otherwise, if it's or, then we're doing a comparison with the element that may not exist. So that has to be and. Now let me try running this code again. And if, as you can see here, it is sorted. Now let's consider the case in which the right array is all bigger than the left array. All the elements in the right array is bigger than the, all the elements in the left array. What about that? And we still get it sorted. What if it was the other way? Uh, this is bigger than the elements here, and we are still we still get a sorted array. So hopefully, I convinced you guys that this function works. It gets two sorted arrays and gives you the result of a sorted of both. And now let's see if our whole merge sort function works as a whole. Let's console log the result of this and hope to God that we get back a sorted array. And I look, and it looks pretty sorted to me. Now let's see if free code camp is satisfied with this solution. Bring this over here, run the code. If I can find it, run the test, and we pass. All right, guys, so this was the final sorting algorithm within free code camp, at least under this section, which we, we will cover heap sort later. But this is not easy, please. Uh, try messing with this on your own if you still don't fully understand it. And this was probably the most hardest one out of the five sorts that we had here. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was free code camp. And guys, if you guys like my content, please click like and subscribe to my content. That really helps a lot. And you'll receive lots of other coding algorithm videos like this or tutorial videos, anything related to coding. Anyways, guys, uh, have a good day and happy coding.